busy night here on Weather Center Live. It's now 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. We're tracking storms across the Northeast right now. Severe weather advancing in quickly around not too far from the New York City area, Boston and Philadelphia. And you can see it has been somewhat of a quiet day, but that is about to change as the cold air moves into the hot and humid air we have in place here in the Northeast. Delays already at the airports. New video coming in right now as these storms have already hit many cities here in the Northeast. This is from Paul Bearers out of Saratoga Springs in New York. And it, it looks rather dark as the storm rolled through, obviously, but some heavy rain coming down. Uh, in some cases, we've had large hail reports and uh, the dangerous lightning out there and so much rain in a short amount of time, especially up in the higher terrain that we are dealing with flooding as well with flash flood warnings issued. We want to thank uh, Paul Bearers for sharing that video right off his deck of the weather changing quickly. And another video, this one out of Pennsylvania, sent in from eyewitness Tad M31. And look at those storms quickly coming in, those clouds obviously darkening up as we expect some either large hail or very heavy rain coming out of these, the lightning, and look at the wind whipping those trees around. Let's find out where the storms are right now. We broke into our coverage early to make sure that you're prepared for the severe weather. Carl Parker and Chris Warner standing by. Guys? Yeah, hello, Crystal. We are looking at an area of possibly some severe weather that stretches from Virginia all the way up to New England. Uh, still a little bit of a tornado threat, would well, you say? You know, I think the tornado to threat is, is, is beginning to diminish. Be early on, we were looking at more supercell storms. Uh, there was a warm front that was in place there, and that was helping to provide some t turning in the atmosphere, and that's now lifting up and towards the northeast. There is still some shear, and so we may yet see some tornadoes, uh, but the tornado watch area has been dropped in Vermont and upstate New York because the atmosphere has stabilized. It's gotten a lot cooler at the surface and you need warm and humid air that's buoyant that's the type of air that wants to rise and can give you those powerful updrafts that then can begin to turn you see this long line of storms and how it's really strewn out and i think that is a part of why it's not going to be the most tremendous severe weather event we've ever seen uh, oftentimes when they come in they've got uh, a real concentrated area an upper level system that's kind of punching through we call it a negative tilt, that's when we tend to see uh, really strong storms. This system has more of a positive tilt. It's kind of strewn out. But because these storms are moving into areas where there's been a lot of warm and humid air, uh, they still are going to pack a bit of a punch. And it looks like things are picking up a bit just outside of Washington, D.C. in the Beltway. Yeah, it certainly does, and we can actually take a look at that. Uh, and the, no warning on the cell right now, but... A lot of lightning. A lot of lightning with that, uh, that's for sure. And we'll zoom in a little bit and uh, show you what's going on with that. And the heavier rain is now coming right down 66, and it's going to be moving into Fairfax County here, getting close to Dulles Airport. Uh, again, not quite up to severe levels, but keep in mind that uh, severe storms produce winds of nearly 60 miles an hour. So we can still be talking about wind of 40 40 to 50 miles an hour and small hail, plenty of lightning and a lot of rain. And again, that's uh, beginning to move now towards 66, coming over towards Falls Church and the Rockville area, um, Montgomery County there, Howard County, and will gradually overspread the entire D.C. area. Farther northward, I want to show you what's going on in Philly, and we've been watching this line of storms here. Now, if you look closely, you notice there does appear to be a slight weakening trend. So we may be weakening just a little bit here, but uh, the shear is actually going to increase a little bit over the next couple of hours. So we may see a resurgence in these storms just because they're weakening a bit now doesn't mean we're necessarily going to be out of the woods. You notice uh, the wind that's making its way towards the radar. This is a uh, velocity. And right in here, that's where the radar is. You notice the green color, that's wind that's moving towards the radar. And the red color is wind that's moving away from the radar. So this is the southerly wind that's been in place all day today. And then here, you're seeing the strong wind that's driving in with those thunderstorms, the leading edge of that. And we can actually, from this radar, determine what kind of wind speeds we've got. And for the most part, it looks like 40 to 50 mile an hour wind that's getting very close to the northwest side of Philly and also coming into Trenton. So there certainly could be enough wind in these storms to produce some wind damage. It's something. It's just about 40.